A reading from the Holy Bible, the New American Bible, the Book of Numbers, Chapter 32, Request of Gad and Rehoboam. Now the Rehoboamites and Gadites had a very large number of livestock, noticing that the land of Yazer and Gilead was grazing country, they came to Moshe and the priest Ele Asar and to the princes of the community and said, The region of Ataroth, Debon, Yasser, Nimra, Heshbon, Ele Ale, Sebam, Nebo, and Baal Meon, which the Lord has laid low before the community of Israel is grazing country. Now, since your servants have livestock, they continued, if we find favor with you, let this land be given to your servants as their property. Do not make us cross the Jordan. Uh, 32 verse 1 has a note on Gilead the name of the western part of the plateau east of the Yordan, sometimes signifying the whole region from the Yarmouk to the Yordan, sometimes only in the, the northern part of this region, and sometimes, as here, only its southern part. Yasser lay to the east of southern Gilead. And... Chapter 32, verse 3, the place is named in this verse as well as the additional ones given in verses 34 through 38 were all in the former kingdom of Sihon, that is, in the region between the Yabok and Arnon, Numbers 21, 23, Joshua 13, 19 through 21, and 24 through 27. Moshe's Rebuke. Verse 6, but Moshe answered the Gadites and Reubenites, Are your kinsmen, then, to engage in war while you remain here? Why do you wish to discourage the Israelites from crossing to the land that the Lord has given them? That is just what your fathers did when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to Reikon reconnoiter the land. They went up to the Wadi Eshkol and reconnoitered the land, then so discouraged the Israelites that they would not enter the land the Lord had given them. At that time, the wrath of the Lord flared up and he swore, because they have not followed me unreservedly, none of these men of 20 years or more who have come up from Egypt shall ever see this country, I promised under oath to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, except the Kenizzite Caleb, son of Yefune, and Yeshua, son of Nun, who have followed the Lord unreservedly. unreservedly. And a note pertaining to the Kenizzite, a member of the clan of Kenaz, which, according to Genesis thirty six eleven fifteen forty two, was a Domitic, hence, although Caleb belonged to the tribe of Judah, Numbers thirteen six thirty four nineteen, he must have had Edomite blood in his veins. Also, Joshua fourteen six fourteen. Verse thirteen. So in his anger with the Israelites, the Lord made them wander in the desert 40 years until the whole generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord had died out. And now here you are, a brood of sinners rising up in your father's place to add still more to the Lord's blazing wrath against the Israelites. If you turn away from following him, he will make them stay still longer in the desert. And so you will bring about the ruin of this whole nation. Counterproposal. But they were insistent with him. 
We wish only to build sheepfolds here for our flocks and towns for our families. But we ourselves will march as troops in the van of the Israelites until we have led them to their destination. Meanwhile, our families can remain here in the fortified towns safe from attack by the natives. We will not return to our homes until every one of the Israelites has taken possession of his heritage and will not claim any heritage with them once we cross the Jordan, so long as we receive a heritage for ourselves on this eastern side of the Jordan. Agreement reached. Verse 20. Moshe said to them in reply, If you keep your word to march as troops in the Lord's vanguard and to cross the Jordan in full force before the Lord until he has driven his enemies out of his way and the land is subdued before him, then you may return here. Quit of every obligation to the Lord and to Israel, and this region shall be your possession before the Lord. Uh, notes pertaining to 32 verse 20 says, Since the ark of the Lord was born into battle with the Israelite army, the vanguard was said to march before the Lord. Verse 25, The Gadites and Rehobanites answered Moshe, Your servant will do as you command, my Lord. While our wives and children, our herds, and other livestock remain in the town of Gilead, all your servants will go across as armed troops to battle before the Lord, just as your lordship says. Moshe therefore gave this order in their regard to the priest Eleazar, to Yeshua, son of Nun, to the heads of the ancestral tribes of the Israelites. If all the Gadites and Rehobanites cross the Jordan with you as combat troops before the Lord, you shall give them Gilead as their property when the land has been subdued before you. But if they will not go across with you as combat troops before the Lord, you shall bring their wives and children and livestock stock across before you into Canaan, and they shall have their property with you in the land of Canaan. To this, the Gadites and Rehobanites replied, We will do what the Lord has commanded us, your servants. We ourselves will go across into the land of Canaan as troops before the Lord, but we will retain our hereditary property in this side of the Jordan. So Moshe gave them the Gadites and Reubenites, as well as half the tribe of Manasseh, son of Yosef, the kingdom of Sihon, king of Amorites, and kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, the land with its towns and the districts that surrounded them. This note pertaining to verse 33, the preceding is concerned solely with the two tribes of Gad and Rehoboam and with the land of the former kingdom of Sihon. Hence, it seems probable that the sudden reference here to the half-tribe of Manasseh and to their territory in Bashan, the former kingdom of Og, is a Later addition to the text. Verse 34. The Gadites rebuilt fortified towns of Dibon, Ataroth, Aroer, Athroth, Shofan, Yazir, Yogbeha, Beth Nimra, and Beth Haran. And they built sheepfolds. The Rehobanites rebuilt Hasbon, Ale, Ale, Kiri Athaim, Nebo, Baal Meon, 
names to be changed, and Sibma. These towns which they rebuilt, they called by their old names. And a note pertaining to that verse 38 says, The phrase in brackets is a gloss, warning the reader either to change the order of the preceding names or more probably to read some other words such as Bosheth, shame, for Baal. They called by their old names, literally, they called by their names. See textual notes. However, some understand the current Hebrew text to mean they called by new names. Huh. Okay. Other conquests. Verse 39. The descendants of Machir, son of Manasseh, invaded Gilead and captured it, driving out the Amorites who were there. Moshe gave Gilead to Machir, son of Manasseh, and he settled there. Yair, a Manassehite clan, campaigned against the tent villages, captured them and called them Havoth Yair. Noba also campaigned against Canath, captured it and its dependencies and called it Noba after his own name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.